starting on the set into my base uh, shortly and on behalf of the crew we wish you a very pleasant stay in Milan or a smooth over journey. One moment, I think that's my nonna on the phone. Okay, just said hi to my nonna on the phone. Really grueling travel day. It was like 36 hours that I was awake. And last night I was feeling just so anxious. I might talk about it a bit later on here, but it's emotional to be in Italy again. I'm actually staying in the actual room and bed and apartment that my Zia stayed with my mum a few months before she passed away when she was sick so it's kind of trippy to be here in the same bed looking at, at the same view that she would have looked at and knowing kind of what she was going through but I think this trip is honestly going to be very healing for me so I'm excited about that aspect of it I need to get ready now um, to go for a little pastry and a walk and a breakfast I'm going to take you guys with me Welcome to the Italian Summer Diaries. I'm so sorry, I'm back in my pajamas and I'm back in my beautiful little bedroom. Just been editing my pack with me video. It's siesta time. I can't believe I'm here and I don't think I ever will. But I wanted to show you guys what I got out today shopping. These are the two most indulgent and beautiful purchases a woman could ever buy for herself. Really pleased about these. First we went to Intimissimi. Got this gorgeous blue bralette so so cute i think it'll look so cute underneath my shirt undies which are really cute and then there was a deal so i also got another free pair what a delightful first purchase this is the most exciting thing <gasps> let's unbox it together oh my god i got my very first aqua di parma fragrance and this is like my first big girl fragrance and i've been holding out for this trip to get it and me and my Zia made a vow that we were going to get one together in italy and it's our first day together so both picked one out colonia futura scent oh my god it's just so stunning i'm gonna have to show you guys on a close-up but it is literally huge and this is my fragrance of the summer my fragrance of the trip i'm gonna make so many memories with this fragrance so yeah really living il dolce far niente right now gonna chill out a bit and then get ready to go out for a nice little dinner and aperitivo tonight italian summer baby
Buongiorno from my little bedroom. I took you guys out with me for a walk. I did want to talk to you when I was outside, but I got stage fright. I think I'm not so good at doing that yet. So today is my second full day in Italy, and as the days go on, it starts to feel more and more real that I'm here. I'm feeling pretty good today. My anxiety has been getting better. It is just so hot and humid here. I forgot the heat in Italy is way different to Australia. Only like 22, 23 right now. It's going to be a high of 27 today, but I'm sweating so much right now. I have a shower and get changed before I go out for the day. Today's our last full day in Verona and tomorrow afternoon we're flying to Sicily, which I'm really excited about. I've never been there before. I think that's going to be a whole separate video though. And yeah, today is just another day of dolce far niente, going for coffee and breakfast walking lunch walking siesta aperitivo cena e basta that is all you need to do when you're on holiday in italy first few weeks of my big two-month Europe trip with my Zia, my auntie, who I'm so close to. So it's really special to be here together. It feels so natural to travel together, especially here in Italy. It feels like we've been doing this all our lives. And I really love the routines that we've made for ourselves these few days in Verona. One of them being having a spritz at 11 a.m. after our morning coffee. Excuse how I look right now, but did a tiny bit of shopping. So first of all, we stopped by this little jewelry shop and I noticed on the bottom shelf they had these like gold pendants. They were just like assorted ones. And I saw this one. No, that's coming home with me. I've been looking for one of those everywhere. And I said, if I ever happened upon one, I would get it. And so I got this. I'll show you a little close up, but it's a little sun pendant with a face. And if you guys know my brand, Studio Sonia, I always draw a sun with a face so it's just perfect and I needed to replace my little stainless steel shell and so now I have a sun and with the Madonna that I got in Italy last year and these are just like I'm never gonna take these off for the rest of my life it's just so special I feel really happy about it and then we went to Sephora because I wanted to get another cream blush so I picked up Hope from Rare Beauty. I have Happy at the moment, which is a nice bright pink, but I wanted one that was a bit more muted. I also couldn't help myself because they had the highlighters in stock and I got one. I'm gonna try and mix this with the blush while I put it on. I've heard that is really, really good. I also got the Gizu Honey Hair Oil because my hair gets really, really dry here with the hard water. So a really good haul. And we're gonna go make some lunch now. A nice big salad, relax and have siesta time and then out for a bit of two on dinner again. Okay, so we've gotten home now and we've had uh, lunch and siesta time during siesta time I actually ended up getting my period which sucks but it's kind of good that it came today because we're flying to Sicily tomorrow which is like beach time so I'm glad that I get my first period day over with now you know what I mean so yeah we had a rest and then I ended up editing my YouTube video of my pack and prep with me for this trip which you would have seen by now really excited to get that up and I had so much fun editing it and now we're just going to go get some wine for aperitivo and then we're gonna go out for dinner this is our last night in Verona kind of sad to leave but really excited for the next spot and I got ready tonight using my new Ray Beauty blush and highlighter and oh my god 
I love them so 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 much I think the highlighter is just so nice and I haven't had a highlighter in so long so it's really nice to add it back into my routine I'm sorry I keep showing you this view but I need to show it to you again that light and those colors do not get that anywhere outside of Italy or Europe like the powder blue sky the golden buildings with the terracotta tiles literally every day is like you're living in a painting but yeah my outfit tonight is pretty damn cute I'm wearing my Jeff Avenue boob tube and my dish maxi linen skirt if this picks out it's my bike shorts um, so I don't bleed through on my period i'm wearing tonight for the first time my aqua vintage coach bag which looks so cute with like an all white outfit as a pop of color and yeah i just wanted to say i'm sorry if this video is like mainly montage clips i've just been like a whirlwind first two days in italy but I really, I think I'm going to really enjoy editing these Italian summer diaries for you guys and just for me to look back on as well on this trip because this is such a important trip for me. Um, just personally flying here alone, being here for the first time without my immediate family, without Paul. It's just really important for me and I'm excited to document it beautifully. All the montage of the rest of the night. <laughs> in my last morning looking out at this beautiful view which I'm so sad about I'm gonna miss it so much just the birds and the trees and the roofs I think I mentioned to you guys I'm not sure though but today we're flying to Sicily I've never been to Sicily so I'm really excited about that it's gonna be literally the polar opposite we're in like northern northern italy very posh very proper and then we're going to like the bottom of italy like not even on the boot it's going to be so different and i'm so excited to see um what it's like there it's going to look completely different the food is so different the way they speak is different and we're going to be by the beach and i'm really excited to be in the ocean and swimming again hopefully it'll be warm enough Either way, I'm getting in the water. I just called Paul this morning. I filmed a TikTok, get ready with me. I'm wearing my Jeff Breezy shirt, which I've literally worn every single day since I got here. So if you're considering getting one of these shirts, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, and I got this really cute new little blue bralette. I'm wearing my linen pant and yeah, I've got my period. So I'm wearing like a pair of bike shorts underneath because they're white pants and I don't want to get them dirty. I am going to miss this view so much today we're doing what we do every day which is go to that same cafe and go for a walk around the city and then we're going to come back here have lunch pack up and then we're heading to the airport at like four o'clock 4 30 and for a 6 30 flight there's this jasmine vine right outside the window and the smell is insane let me show you that smells delicious oh my goodness what bag should i bring today i want to wear this um because i think it looks so cute with it but i think i want to bring my journal to the cafe so i think i'm gonna bring my straw bag which is still really cute but fits a lot forever getting interrupted by bells which i love um i also actually haven't taken any film photos yet i'm gonna load up a roll now and if you guys are wondering what camera and film i use um, for now, I'm using this little Pentax SBO that I got at the op shop for like $2. I need to show you guys something. 
Here's a little sneak peek at something I've been working on for so long now. Oh my god, you guys are gonna die. You are gonna love this. But I may or may not be coming out with a special little collaboration that you guys can take with you on your Euro summers um, to take the most amazing film photos. But I need a film camera to get the content for that. So yeah, I'm gonna use this. And my favorite, favorite, favorite film to shoot on is Kodak Gold. 200 especially for an Italian summer um, when it's like super bright outside and the tones in Kodak Gold are unmatched for me like I can't shoot in any other film obviously Portra is gorgeous but that is breaking the bank no thank you so Kodak Gold is perfect and we're ready to go The most wonderful morning. It was so lovely and I'm going to be sad to leave this place. Also because the shopping is just so good here and I ended up spending a lot of money again today. I'll do a little haul for you guys. So I went to Sephora again and I picked up the Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener because the concealer I brought is actually a bit dark for my under eyes and I think this would just be good to layer with that. And I went to this special shop sold lots of like knives and gadgets and things like that. And I got this special little... Pepper grinder. I just thought this would be perfect um, for my kitchen and it's going to remind me forever of this trip. And then they had this amazing Carhartt work in progress store but I got um, a t-shirt for Mattel and I, my brother. So I got myself this one that says Saluti da Carhartt and it has like some photos from Italy which I thought was perfect. For Mattel I got this one of this guy playing the trumpet and it says easy living because I think that's perfect for him. And he's gonna meet us in Kamali after Sicily. So I'll give that to him then. Now it's time to deal with this chaos. When I get to Sicily, I'm gonna be much better with packing and unpacking. Let's deal with this. 